Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 352. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 349 to 352. In Trick 352, we got some math, English, and comparative operators. Now, I teach math class, accounting, finance, statistics, all sorts of things. And virtually without a doubt, if I put words like no less than or at most or no more than on a test for some question, most people miss it. Now, the, uh, I'm the same way. Some of these are really tricky, right? And it's it's not that they're not we can't figure it out. It's just that we go too fast. But here's a a list, not a complete list, but a list of all the types of phrases not only that you see in school and math and accounting and finance, but out there in the real world. If you've ever gone and looked at tax tables, sometimes the column headers they have to describe the data are they pick the most difficult phrase they could have why don't they just use greater than or equal to or less than or equal to if you use that all the time then uh, people get them right more than they get them wrong but nevertheless English has lots of ways so I just want to go through this huge list and I have a little data set over here uh, with our x 0 to 6 and there's our uh, probabilities and we want to see if we can interpret all of these words correctly now if we're calculating x equal to 3 well that one's easy we say x is equal to that 3 right there now what about x greater than 3 so x greater than 3 well let's look over here greater than 3 there's the 3 and greater than Oh, that means 3 is not included, so it's 4, 5, 6. So we do our keyboard shortcut for auto, auto sum, alt equals, and highlight just the ones greater than 3. Enter. Now, x more than 3, that is another way of saying greater than, more than 3. So we'll say alt equals, and it's more. It can't be 3 because 3 is 3. It's not more than. It's all of these ones. How about above 3? Alt equals above 3. Well, let's just look positionally, right? This word is from position, right? It's above. Oh, so it can't be 3 or below 3. It's going to be above. So I'll highlight those ones. Now, what about x greater than or equal to 3? Now, this one most people get. Alt equals. And it's going to be greater than or equal. Whoops. I need to move that screen tip. And double click that greater than or equal to well okay we know we're going up because it's greater than but it also says equal to so we gotta highlight that three also now at least now this is where we get into trouble now think about what does at least mean at least three it means the smallest it could be is three so really three is okay but if that's the smallest could we go bigger? Yeah, we could go four, five, six. The reason why people usually uh, don't get at least three, or more people get it wrong than this one, is because it uses the less, the least. That word means less, and so you always tend to jump and go, oh, maybe that means less than. But it doesn't. It means the smallest x can be is three. At least three, alt equals. The smallest number it can be is three, so we highlight those. Enter. Now, another one, no less than. Here's the word less right in it, but really, ultimately, means greater than or equal to. No less than. It means uh, it can't be less than 3. Well, if it can't be less than 3, it means everything else is OK. That means 3, 4, 5, and 6 are OK. So x is no less than 3. Can't be, well, what are all the ones less than? 2, 1, 0. So it can't be those. So when we alt equals, it's got to be 3 and above. Now, what about this one? Or more. So P, X is 3 or more. So when we look over here and we say, well, X is 3, so it could be 3 or more. So that means this direction. So when we Alt equals, we saw 3 or more. Now, that one's not as hard. As far as greater than or equal to, we saw four of them here. This one's OK. This one's OK. The reason these are hard is because we have the word less in there when we're really thinking the other direction. Now, what about this one? Less than. x less than 3. Alt equals. Well, I'm going to find 3, and it says less than. So it can't be 3. It has to be 2, 1, 0. 
Now what below, this is that position like above we had up here. If I can find it right there. So most of us get this one, Alt e equals below. It can't be 3 because that is 3. It needs to be below, so we highlight those ones. Now x less than or equal to, most people don't get this one wrong because the, the words are explicit. Less than or equal to, so it's 3 and everything less. Now here's where we get into trouble again, right? This one says uh, x at most 3. Now really the word most or more, these are the ones that throw us off because we're trying to do less than or equal to. So let's think about this, at most. Well. That means the biggest it can be is 3, the largest at most. So it's going to be all of the ones below it, because those ones are fine. Is, is 0 uh, below 3? Yeah, it is. So all of these are fine, but the most it can possibly be is that 3. All right, no more than 3. This is another one. It's got that word more, even though we want to do less. So when we Alt equals, so no more than. It means it could be anything up to and including 3, but not more than that. So no more than 3. See, 4 is more, right? 5 is more. Is 3 more than 3? No. I mean, is 3 uh, no more than 3? Yes, 3 is OK, because it's not more than 3. So we we'll really want all of those ones, just none of the ones that are bigger than 3. Enter. Uh, and this one's not so hard. x is 3 or less. Alt equals, so it can be 3, but it can be all the ones less than also. Finally, we get to, to not. That one's not so hard, because it just means everything as long as it's not 3. So when I Alt equals, I'm going to highlight all of these ones, but not 3. And now I'm going to hold my Control key and then highlight every, everything else, but not 3. Now really, this one usually don't see. Uh, it says x, I said complement, because really the easy way to do this is to take the complement uh, of 3 and in statistics, the complement's everything except for that one particular thing. So equals 1 minus, in this case, I have a total here. Whatever the total was, you'd say uh, whatever that total is, so I'll say equals that minus the one thing it's not, right? And then enter. All right, uh, a little bit about English, or a little bit about math, English, and comparative operators. All right, see you next trick.